what is the mean absolute error or mae in this video we will try to understand that let's say we created a linear regression model the expected output of the model is like the following the model gave the following output so how well did the model perform we need some way to evaluate the performance of the model we can calculate the mean absolute error for that purpose we know that the simple linear regression can be expressed using the following equation y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus e here x is the predictor variable y is the target variable e is the error and beta 0 and beta 1 are the coefficients beta 0 and beta 1 are calculated in such a way that the error e is minimum beta 0 is called the intercept of the line and beta 1 is called the slope of the line and this error e is also called the residual so let's say the predicted variable x takes the following values x1 x2 to xn the linear regression model calculates the following values of y for the corresponding values of x y1 y2 to yn and the actual values of y for the corresponding values of x are y a1 y a2 to y a n so the error or the residual can be expressed like the following e i is equal to y a i minus y i where i ranges from 1 to n n is the total number of observations the mean absolute error is defined as m a e is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n absolute value of e i divided by n that is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n absolute value of y a i minus y i divided by n so the mean absolute error indicates how far are the calculated data points from the actual data points so let's look back at our example in our example the actual values of y are y a like the following and the calculated values of y are y like the following so the mean absolute error will be m a e is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n absolute value of e i divided by n and that will be equal to 0 0.129 after calculation i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more please visit the website of the security body or refer to the playlist statistics for machine learning the relevant links are provided in the description you may also want to subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos